Hello everyone, Victor is here, your organic chemistry tutor, and in this video I want to talk about this reaction. So we have an alcohol as a starting material and sulfuric acid, plus on top of that we have heat, so that looks like some sort of a fancy dehydration reaction. So let's look at the mechanism of this reaction and try to figure out what type of a final product we are going to get. So sulfuric acid is a strong acid, so the only thing that it's going to be doing is protonating something. So well, what are we going to protonate? Probably the best place for us to protonate is going to be this OH group over here. So let's do just that. I'm going to draw my sulfuric acid and then I'm going to protonate the alcohol like that. This is going to give me an intermediate where I have H2O, which can be serving as my living group. So this H2O can be a living group. Well, we are going to have the living group dissociation, and as a result of this living group dissociation, we are going to get a carbocation that looks like this. And as soon as we have a carbocation, we always know that the carbocation is trouble, because carbocations really like to rearrange, which means that we need to analyze this carbocation for any kind of possible rearrangements. The carbocation itself is secondary. And right next to it we have this juicy quaternary position, which means that the rearrangement here is more than likely. Now, there are a couple of different rearrangements that we can potentially accomplish in this case, and probably the best one of them is going to be the ring expansion like this. I'm not going to go through every single one of them. As a challenge, as extra practice, that might be a very good idea if you actually write all possible rearrangements and see what it gives you. But I'm going to jump to the most likely one because this will expand my ring and uh, that will decrease the ring strain. So to make my life a little bit easier, I'm going to number my atoms. Let's say I will start from here, so I have one, two, three, four and five like that. So during this carbocation rearrangement, during this ring expansion, I'm going to be taking the electrons between carbons one and four, those electrons, and I'm going to be making a new carbon-carbon bond between one and five over here while breaking this bond. So if I draw it ugly first, that will give me a structure something like that, where I have my atoms one, two, three, four and five like this, and the carbocation in this case is going to be on my carbon number four, because that's the one that we robbed of the electron density. If I redraw it in a little bit better shape, I'm going to get something like that. So now my five-membered rings actually <laughs> do look like five-membered rings. Now, from this point on, since this is most likely a dehydration reaction, I'm going to see what type of a double bond I can form. So my carbon with the carbocation is right over here, and I need to identify the beta positions next to it. We have the green beta position, we have the blue beta position, and we have an orange beta position. Now, when we are dealing with the dehydration of alcohols like that, that is essentially an E1 reaction, which means that we are predominantly going to be opting for the Zaitsev product, which, I will remind you, is the most substituted double bond. So in this case, there are two options which will give me the most substituted bond. Those are going to be my green option and my orange option. But if I draw all of them, pulling off the orange hydrogen will give me a double bond that looks like this, pulling off the blue hydrogen will give me a double bond looking like that, and finally pulling off the green hydrogen will give me a double bond that looks like this. And in this case, both orange double bond, which I have right over here, and the green double bond that I have over here are both connected at four different carbons. So the orange double bond is connected to one, two, three, four other carbons. The green double bond over here, that one is connected to one, two, three, four carbons as well, while the blue one that I have over here, well, that one is only connected to one, two, three carbons, which means that when it comes to our major product, we can declare that both green product and the orange product are going to be our major products, and the blue one we would expect as the minor product. And that's all I have for you today. Let me know how you did in the comments below, hit the like button to promote this video and help more students see it, watch this video next, and I will see you tomorrow.